Hey, you made it to lesson two of the art journaling series. And um, I shifted a little bit so you could see a bit of the studio, but I actually felt really conflicted because I thought, well, I need a pretty background or um, something cool behind me. Um, but let, let's be real, um, without the girls, the studio is very empty and very lonely. Um, and sometimes dressing things up to be what they're not, um, you know, sometimes it's not worth it. So um, here we are, we don't need things to be pretty to, to make the work, to do the art, and we are here together and that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to kick off this lesson with an excerpt from Julia Cameron. She wrote The Artist's Way and I think a whole bunch of books um, after that, The Artist's Way, Ooh, that's a popular book and, and for very good reason. Um, she says, your creativity is like your blood, just as blood is a fact of your physical body and nothing you invented. Creativity is a fact of your spiritual body and nothing that you must invent. She has a word for us today. Um, yeah, that's similar on that. Um, what I have with me today is my journal, my, my writing journal. I've got pens and pencils, basically the trio always, um, the black Sharpie pen, the pencil. And I just like to have a pink pen always with me. Um, <laughs> I have no reason, it's just what I like to do. I've got two filberts with me because I also have a watercolor set and that wasn't closed and a container of water and some crayons if the uh, spirit moves me. So what we're going to be uh, doing is an approach called the art journaling journal. Art journal journaling. Um, this is for my writers out here and this is in collaboration with Julia Cameron's idea of the morning pages. So she has this concept about sitting and writing and getting the things out and letting your um, kind of partly your unconscious, your your stream of thought to get on the page because sometimes, often, we have thoughts that are blocking the creativity and there, there are regular record playing thoughts, right? The dishes, um, something we're nervous about or excited about, ooh, how hot baby daddy is or how hot mess baby daddy is. Um, there's lots of things that have our attention or are really grasping on to, to the energy that we want to arrive on paper. And so um, that's what we're gonna do. We can do a little bit of morning pages, but no worries if it's not morning for you. Um, the morning pages are always good. So this can be unsettling um, if you've not done it before or if you're not much of a writer. I am definitely techie, I'm a typer, and so I definitely um, get this hand cramp going on when I first started and sometimes still, because I massively grip my pencils. I feel like they're just gonna leave me. Um, so loosen up a little bit. I had a teacher tell me if you write um, more at the top, you know, if you paint and you draw, um, you know, when you're down here, you have to, like, you're just like gripping. So loosen up. We are going to write a stream of consciousness for five minutes. Yes, for five minutes, we're gonna do it together. Um, and literally whatever you're thinking. So if your thoughts are, this is stupid, I don't wanna do this, I have nothing to say, I have nothing to say, I have nothing to say, then you write that. Um, you just just let it flow, okay? Um, what we're gonna try and do is get to a page. That's really the goal here. Um, that also depends on what kind of paper you have, also the size of your handwriting. So it's not a test like, oh, you didn't reach, you didn't reach a full page. It's really okay in the world. Okay. So um, turn on some music if you, you would like to and let's write.
Okay, and I think that's five minutes. Yeah, timer done. It's about five minutes. Okay, so yeah, what did what did you end up writing about? I only got now these are really tiny. I have very um thin lines, but my writing looks something like this. And I first started talking about how weird it is to write in front of people on camera, and this is ridiculous and needs to move to a different thought. Donika, please move to a different thought is pretty much um kind of what I wrote. So what we're gonna do now is you have some content in front of you. So you're just going to add to it, um, like if you had to summarize your writing or pick an important piece out of your writing, like what came up, you're just going to make an image, make a doodle in the same way um, that we did the calendar piece, right? So this doesn't have to be anything huge. So I actually, um, hmm. I'm kind of looking for a house right now, and that kind of came up. So, I'm, and you're gonna write or you're gonna draw right on top of of the words. Um, this exercise is not necessarily meant for you to go back and read. Right? This isn't like dear diary, and 20 years from now, you go back and, and see what you wrote. The value in this is writing and, and moving, getting kind of getting the, the juices going, you know, um, so that we can make room for creativity. Um, oftentimes the value really is in the writing itself. I feel like I made a little mushroom house off of Mario. That's what my house is about to be. Right. We, it is now, it is now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think sometimes we're so overly concerned with the product, you know, it's value over time and what is it going to look like right now? But sometimes there's just value in the present. <laughs> Surprise. No one's surprised I'm saying that. Um. But in the doing of right now, like we just need to write, you just need to sort your thoughts out. Like sometimes it, right? I know I'm a, I can be a broken record, um, but they're great reminders. And the things that I'm often repeating are beautiful things that teachers and, and students and people I look up to have said to me. And so these sort of like lessons, these like bite-sized lessons, um, you know, sometimes I can't hear what I'm even thinking because, because I can't see it. And sometimes to see it, to see it outside of myself is very helpful. Or just to empty the bucket. Like, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I'm so, I'm just, it just plays and it plays and it plays. And then I feel like I can't think, I can't see it. I'm just a mess. <laughs> I'm, off, I'm often kind of a mess. Um, Broken crayon. Um, and so just to get the thoughts and see and be able to sort and move around and, you know, tuck what I want back in and leave on the paper what I do not. Um, and oftentimes the act of making the image is enough to recall. You know, the, the brain is amazing in that way. You don't even need all of this. Um, if they're your feelings, they're your experiences. And if you process them, oh, I love when I accidentally do, do that. I used to have a Canadian barista that I worked with and I was always so shocked by the use of her O's. Um, but then sometimes I use those O's. <laughs> so that, that was kind of funny. Um, yeah, sometimes when we're able to like see, digest, process, file away, then we're able to access things. I think we're always so weird we're going to forget things. And so it must look a certain way. We've got to do a certain thing. Um, but how about just a little drawing? I'm just draw a little bit. and That is fine enough. Ooh, I'm going to make like a little light in my house. Mm. Oh, 
I'm gonna make flowers. It's so funny, I got the watercolors because I thought that's what I was gonna do. It's usually my go-to, but not today. Not today. That's good. I get a lot of questions about really people's anxiety in art making and their overthinking. We'll talk about an overthinking world. Um, I say this as an overthinker, so no judgment. Um, and this is why we practice. I often find my newer students, um, you know, they struggle to find this. <laughs> my class is meditative and relaxing. Usually it's just like, what? You know, they come with a lot of expectations um, or what they think are expectations on my part as their academic teacher, right? They're getting DPS credit for this class. So it's school. There's some expectations I'm sure people have of what I'm going to desire from them or what's going to qualify as a good grade, right? But um, you know, you want to get to that place, you know, when you're in the shower and you're bathing and here, but not really here. And then an amazing thought comes to you, right? We get these amazing thoughts in the shower. Well, imagine if you didn't know how to shower, right? Imagine if for the first time you were learning how to bathe, they're probably gonna be concentrating on what the soap looks like and it's slipping out of your hands and the washcloth and the loofah and there's water dropping and now the temperature and then the tiles. There's a lot going on in the shower, but it doesn't seem that way because we've been showering, hopefully, for a really long time. So you're able to autopilot that, right? So you've got to get to the point of autopilot, autopilot, nope. You want to autopilot art making, and that takes practice. If you're not making art consistently, it doesn't have to be every day, but if you're not, you know, doing that, you're, you're not going to be able to switch to the, the shower effect. Um, does that make any sense? If that doesn't make sense, go ahead and leave a comment and um, I'll write you back. I don't know why I feel um, I want green flowers. I don't know why that's a thing, but it's going to be a thing. It's a thing today. Um, yeah, so if, you know, here I am just like chatting it up and, and drawing. Now, mind you, I've been making art for a very long time. Um, I've got some autopiloting happening, but not all the time. Um, depends on the day. Sometimes I just cannot... Oh, in the flow. Oh, chick sent me hi. Yo. That flow concept, take a look, see at that. So yeah, you want to just be in the flow. And that takes that takes time, that takes a mindset, and that takes practice. Um so yeah, I've got this little thing going on, right? So I just kind of wrote how I was feeling, what I was thinking. I didn't judge what I was thinking or feeling. Um, and I just like let it out. I tend to like in this exercise, I do not like to write nicely, prettily, because I'm going to draw right over it. And I think sometimes we don't want to, we don't want to make messy what we've made pretty. Well, if you already start off scribbling, also, if you are a sharer on the social media accounts, I like to scribble so that when I do share this, people are not, they got to work real hard to see my, my thinking. And then of course, if it's private, private, you know, this is for you. It's not for anybody else. Um, and so I like this as a, a visual document, but I can also see my writing and, and point, pick out words of how I was thinking. You can also do that as pull quotes and, and make that beautiful on the page. I, I like that style too. Um, so yes, please share your pages. Um, and again, I'm going to show you mine, right? Y'all, all art is the good art. Um, my little mushroom house over here. Um, sweet. Y'all stay healthy out here. You stay safe. And I will see you next time. Hi, Flowcrit friends. My name is Maggie McHenry, and I'm the Director of Development at Florence Crittenton Services. Thank you so much for tuning into Danica's art journaling lesson today. 
I hope you enjoyed sparking some creativity and learning something new about how art can foster healing, growth, and discovery. Danica's art therapy class is just one of the many programs and services we offer at Florence Crittenden Services. A lot has changed in the last six months or so, like how Danica actually teaches her class, but what hasn't changed is our mission to educate, prepare, and empower teen moms and their children. And that's why we're celebrating Mission Month. It's an entire month of virtual events, volunteering, and opportunities to give back. Things may look a little different these days, but Florence Crittenton Services is just as committed to providing the wraparound support our teen moms, their children, and their families need. This event and all Mission Month events are free of charge, so you can learn more about Florence Crittenton Services and our incredible teen moms and their children. Consider making a donation to show your support for Flow Crit Teen Families. Anyone who contributes $30 or more through the end of the month will receive a free face mask designed by Flow Crit Senior Armani. Use the link below to donate or head to flowcritco.org slash donate to make your gift. Donations of all sizes make a difference, and we are grateful to everyone who sees the value and potential of our moms, their kids, and our organization. Thank you very much and have a great day.